All right, so for our second demonstration of things that you can make, just a couple of the things that you can make using just a compass, a straight edge, and a pencil, um, decided to start with something we may not have thought of, but before they had rulers that had nice lines along them all measured out for us, what they did to make nice even spaced lines is they would take a compass and make points and a line like that. So again, every, every time I start here and I make a new point or make a new mark on this line segment, it's going to be exactly the same distance. So you can use this to make what they call a fair ruler or just a regular uh, or a ruler that shows marks at regular increments. Or we could also use this for what we would make a number line or something of that nature. So these marks will all be exactly the same distance apart because, as you can see, the compass remains the same distance. So you can see that that's, that would give us a nice even measurement. If we set it at a certain distance, I mean we've got a ruler here, so we could set it at an inch or a centimeter or something and make it really nice and even and useful, but for now that's that's just a way that they would use to make what they call a fair ruler. Now let's look at some of the shapes and um, that we can make using our compass. The first shape is a rectangle. To do that first we need a straight edge that can give us one edge that we're going to work with. There's the first edge that we want to work with. To make a rectangle, a rectangle is a polygon with all 90 degree angles. So what we want to do at first is make a 90 degree angle um, to this polygon, or to this line, I'm sorry. So to make a 90 degree angle, or what I'll need to do is mark on this line, oh wow, it's going all over the place. So I'll mark on the line here and here, then I'll expand it and I'm going to make a mark above and below the line from these two points that cross the line there and there. And What that gives us is a line that's exactly perpendicular or in other words it gives us our let's see here 90 degree angle now what we need to do is we need to do this process again, making another set of perpendicular lines. So we started at that point, made a mark there, we're going to make a mark here, expand the compass, and then make marks above and below from each of those points. And that's going to give us our second set, our second line goes through the two points where they meet there and there. Whoa, that last little bit's bad. But if we ignore that, then what we've got is one line here, one segment there. Now, you may think that at this point we would need to also create a second set or go over here and make another perpendicular, but all we need to do at this point is go and make a mark here on that line and make a mark here on this line. And what that's doing is it's giving us the lengths that are congruent. We know that we have parallel lines. We know that we have um, what we have here is a perpendicular that crosses, a transversal here that crosses the parallel lines. So all we need is the same distance from these points and we can do that using a compass and then we can simply draw the line that crosses through those two points. And that will give us a rectangle where this side length is equal to that one. They're congruent. This side length here is congruent with that and all four angles are 90 degrees. A little bit complicated but we can make a rectangle using our compass and straight edge. A regular triangle, we may not think of this immediately, but this one here is actually pretty quick. 
all we need to make a regular triangle is any length line and then we'll take our compass and spread it or in this case contract it slightly so that it's exactly that length. So now all I need to do because we know a regular triangle is equilateral or in other words all the lines are the same length so from that point to this point and if I swing an arc up here well that's not straightest arc and then I swing an arc from this point up then the point where they cross wow this is giving me some troubles today the point where they cross here is an equal distance from this point to there from this point to there and all I'd need to do is draw those lines in there so the point where they cross down to there and again the point where they cross down to our third vertex there and that will give us an equilateral an equiangular in other words a regular triangle so there's a regular triangle alright um, one more shape and this one here We've shown how to make a rectangle, so you could make a square in the same way, but there's actually a faster way to make a square. And I'll show you how to do that. If we draw any line segment like that, and then all we need to do at this point is, and here I'm going to bring this in a bit, all we need to do is, I guess I need to bring it in a bit more, draw some a line that is what is wrong with this? Okay. We need to draw a line that is perpendicular. So we're going to use the same method that we did before. First make two scores on that line, expand our compass out, make an arc up and down, and make another one up and down. Again, you could use you could make the full arc if you want or just part of it as was demonstrated in the first video. So now we have a perpendicular line because, well, that one's off by a bit, but if we went exactly through those points, we would have two perpendiculars. At this point, all we need to do is go ahead and set our compass to any distance that can fit onto this line and mark it. If we mark from the center out, let's make it a distance that won't interfere with any of the other points we have on here. If we set our compass and mark here and here and here and here and we connect those points, then what we're going to create is a square because it will be four sides that are exactly the same length and because these measurements are all 90 degrees on the interior here it will make our other measurements 45 45 which gives us 90 degrees on each side so that's one way we can draw a square using a compass. There are several other ways we can do that, but there's one method that's a little quicker than drawing all the perpendicular lines. And for our final shape, this one here is not a polygon at all, it's our circle. That's right, we can create using a compass a nice circle. So, if our compass is working with us, mine wasn't today very well, let's see. There we go, a nice circle. So we can create that as well. Hope that video has been helpful for you on compass constructions and have a wonderful day.